Once upon a time, the Tuxedo Rabbit logo Playboy brand was everywhere. Its best-selling copy has sold over 7 million copies. Like any other business, Playboy has seen its ups and downs throughout its existence. So in this video, we will see how the Playboy business evolves into irrelevance. Hugh Marston Hafter was born on April 9, 1926. Before deciding to start Playboy, Hugh worked as a writer for Esquire magazine, a men's magazine in Chicago. But when the magazine announced it was moving to New York in 1952, Hugh decided to quit and start his magazine. A year later, Hugh decided to borrow money from the bank and look for investors to implement his plan. Then, Hugh became convinced of its potential and applied for the Eat magazine for men. He used the money he earned to create Playboy magazine. The name Playboy is synonymous with the rabbit tuxedo logo made by Hugh himself. The first issue of Playboy magazine, published in December 1953, featured nude photos of Marilyn Monroe. The magazine was a huge success, selling 70,000 copies for $0.50 and 50 cents each. By the late 1950s, Playboy had successfully sold a million copies a month. Coot married Millie Williams in 1949. Before the divorce, the couple had a son named David and a daughter named Christy, who later became a major CEO of Hughes Media Empire. Playboy magazine is constantly improving with each publication. Until then, there were already main competitors producing a magazine with the same concept, the penthouse. The November 1972 print edition of Playboy magazine continues to top the list with sales of 7.1 million copies, and Playboy grossed $12 million that year. Playboy is more than a magazine, it's a way of life. Who expanded the Playboy project and created a series of Playboy clubs designed to embody the glamorous and luxurious lifestyle depicted in the magazine. The first Playboy Club of Chicago had 50,000 members in its first year. More Playboy Club to be opened around the world. Playboy Challenge In 1985, Hugh had a stroke. But a year ago, his daughter Christy was named Chief Operating Officer. In 1988, Christy got promotion to President and CEO. When Playboy gets a loss on revenue, Christy closed the original Playboy Club and launched Playboy TV and the Playboy website. He also developed several of the company's porn products, including the purchase of Spice TV, Playboy Enterprise had a lot of problems at the time. The changing social and political climate has changed the perspective of the club. Women are now seen as humiliating, not brave. In addition, the arrival of pornography in the 1980s led to serious competition for print magazines. With the entry of magazines like Stuff and Maxim, Playboy's popularity continued to decline throughout the 1990s, and Playboy made mistakes when it failed to keep up with technological advances. Playboy is trying to make up for its losses by licensing its brand logo. Products bearing the Rabbit logo have been sold worth billions of dollars. Playboy merchandise is very popular in China, although state laws prohibited the sale of Playboy magazines in China. But that is not enough. The high sales figures provided Playboy with a small amount of licensing income. With a manuscript circulation of fewer than 500,000 copies, the magazine is trying to use the Playboy brand to stay relevant in the age of technological advancement, where pornographic sites are more accessible and the nudity of the magazine is no longer appropriate. Finally, in, in 2015, who agreed to stop posting photos of naked women to expand his target audience. Meanwhile, in 2016, Hugh sold the Playboy Mansion to Darren Metropolis, son of billionaire investor Charles D. Metropolis. The mansion, once a thriving shopping center, was sold for $100 million, with the condition that Hugh continued to live in the house until his death. Hut Hefner died on September 27, 2017, at the Playboy Mansion in Los Angeles. A year after Playboy's founder left, his family decided to sell their 35% stake to a technology-focused investment fund. This is one of their efforts to continue their existing business to ensure that it is compatible with the current technology flow. Ensure that it is compatible with current technical processes. In March 2020, Playboy CEO Ben Cohn announced in an open letter that Playboy would no longer print its annual tribal magazine, opting to go all digital. According to the BBC, Playboy has decided to close its print operations because it cannot compete with other competitors who are taking advantage of the online business model. 
Playboy has now joined Mountain Crest in a deal that values Playboy at $381 million, including $12 million in debt. The merger with Mountain Crest was completed in early 2021, and the name of the new company will be changed to PLB Lie Group, Incorporated that will be listed on the NASDAQ, which is the U.S. stock market index that includes stocks of large companies such as Apple, Amazon, and Google. Mountain Crest is a special purpose acquisition corporation, SPAC, formed to acquire private companies for a merger and then a public listing. According to Playboy CEO Ben Cohen, what he did was restore the companies to the general market. Playboy's return to the public market has transformed an efficient and high-growth business model, which includes contractual licensing of popular health product brands it owns and operates, various types of clothing that once represented luxury lifestyles. This shows how important it is for companies to keep pace with rapid development and technological advancement. Otherwise, regardless of the size of the company, you will run into the same problems as Playboy. Now, Playboy has changed its business model and demonstrated the importance of the brand equity it has built on for decades. Thanks for watching.